Hey guys, Brantford's Lazy here. Um, this isn't really a response to Great Fails' video about Birdman. This is just kind of like an appreciation for Birdman video. Um, Great Fails kind of, I guess, inspired me to make a video about Birdman because, as I've stated before in other videos, that Birdman is probably my favorite card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, monster, at least. Uh, he is currently my avatar. As you can see, this is my avatar. This is what my avatar looks like in a higher definition. I, I don't think you can really tell when you uh, when you see it on my channel or whatever. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to talk about a few combos you can do with Birdman and why I really like him. So here you can see, I've, uh, this is a picture I used for one of the decks I was playing. Uh, it has D.Va, Birdman, and Tour Guide. Now, uh, Greyfield actually talked about using it in, for Tour Guide. What you would do is you would special summon, your normal summon tour guide, then you would uh, bring out whatever fiend that you had at your disposal, another tour guide or whatever. Special summon your birdman by putting back tour guide back in your hand, or the other fiend, or whatever, and then uh, it would probably have to be the other fiend. Usually it's the other fiend, but you know, if you had something else on the board or whatever, and then you could synchro into whatever number you had on the board, and make uh, a, a, a synchro. You can make a synchro, and uh, that's really effective. Uh, it fuels your graveyard really fast, so Pot of Avarice is really good for combos like this. Uh, Diva is also here because it, it does basically something along the same vein. You would normal summon Diva, special summon your other Sea Serpent, probably another Diva, or um, in my case, I was using a Lanian Attack Squad. You could use another Lanian Attack Monster, whatever. Another uh, Sea Serpent you could bring out with Diva. And then you would put your Diva back in your hand, bring out Birdman, Synchro, or Exceed. And then you would uh, next turn bring out your diva again and go into a gachi gachi play or another synchro. Um, this is really cool. I mean, I really like that you can do that. It makes it gives these particular these like tutors to a guide and um, to, to a guide and diva the the ability to be, get a lot more playability than they would normally have. And you don't have to really extend super a lot if you have the birdman in your hand. One of my new favorite combos that I really like to use is. Um, you special summon Gallus, reveal reveal Gallus, dump your monster, special summon him, special summon Birdman, put Gallus back into your hand, reveal Gallus again, dump another monster, burn your opponent again, and then special summon him again. Um, this is really cool because you could if you, if you hit the right monster, say you hit a Cyber Dragon or level eight or whatever monster, you're gonna burn your opponent for a lot in just like two effects. Like so, you go. Just to, this is a two card combo that lets you, allows you to put a, a rank three exceed on the board or a level six synchro on the board and it burns your opponent for we'll just say if you hit two level eights you can burn them for 32 so that's 32 plus let's say you bring out Gaia or uh, you know something else like that you can hit them for 26 so that's already uh, f f 61 no sorry 57 and then um, and, or you could go into an exceed rank three, so uh, like Leviathan Dragon or whatever. So you don't lose your Birdman; it goes to the graveyard, and then you could do stuff like that. So that's a really, you know, that's a really cool combo. Um, Gallus and Birdman are pretty much like best friends. You know, I mean, like I really like the tour guy Diva plays, but Gallus and Birdman are like really work really well together. Uh, I really want to get my hands on some secret rare Gallus. I didn't know that he was secret rare. That's pretty awesome. Another cool play that you could do, uh, actually, if like this is kind of situational, but it gives you really uh, like a lot of fuel for Pot of Avarice. And what you, what I did was I had a Sangan, a Birdman, a Dad, and a Pot of Avarice in my hand. And I didn't make a picture for that for obvious reasons because it was it would be kind of ridiculous to put all that stuff on one page. But um, anyway, what I did was. I had the three darks in my graveyard already, but I didn't have enough monsters in the graveyard for um, Pot of Everest. So what I did was, I think I already had a Zen Mains in defense mode on board, and I was just kind of testing the waters to see if they would activate Psalm Warning or anything like that. So what I did was I normal summon Sangan, no response. Special summon Dad, no response. Special summon Birdman by putting Dad back in my hand, still no response. Special summon, Dad, again, because there no darks had entered the graveyard at this point, so I still had the three. 
and and then I have these three monsters on the board. Now what I did was went into Levi R. I mean Levi R. Le Leviathan Dragon. I guess I could have went into Levi R. But um That's probably a really smart play actually, because you could go uh Levi R, remove a dad to pop something on the board. Uh, remove a material from Levi R to bring whatever you removed with Dad back onto the board, and now you would have three monsters again. And then if any of those things died, you could play Pot of Everest, refill your deck, and that combo would be available to you again. Which it's a really good combo. I mean, like Birdman is so amazing. I really like Birdman a lot. He's uh, I think I'm gonna have to disagree a little bit with Great Fails. I mean, I, I see what he says when he's a win more card, but I mean, like sometimes I'm looking at my hand, I'm like, dude. This, this hand is so amazing because Birdman's in it. I mean, like, I really liked Birdman most when I heard about him in Japan. And um, they were playing him in this weird, like, Gravekeeper Monarch thing where you would, like, set um, Spy, flip the Spy to get another Spy, put the Spy you flipped back into your hand with Birdman, and then go into Arcanite Magician or um, Black Rose, blow up the board, and then you could set your spy again to bring out your other spy or whatever other graveyards you had, gravekeepers you had in your deck. And then you could go like flip, bring out that guy, sack for Caius or Ryza, get your effect, and then special summon Birdman via, um, you know, putting Ryza or whoever back in your hand. Then he would become a 19 beater. And I was just like, dude, that seems so ridiculous. This is like, it's such a good combo. It's just, and I really wanted to play that deck super bad, and it had like Rescue Cats in it and stuff, and then by the time we got all that stuff, Rescue Cat got limited to one, and then Rescue Cat got banned, and I was like, dude, that sucks. But I mean, like, Birdman, I think, has kept its value, basically, over the years. It, it's so amazing. It can make Locomotion G, which is like, kind of like a mini, big eye sort of thing. It can go into, if you're like, you know, lucky enough and you get three rank threes on the board, I mean, level threes on the board, you can go into uh, Mist Worm. has a lot of potential, well, you know, like Greyfield says, and I mean, I think that just given the right situations and like, you know, some amazing opening hands, they're not even amazing. I mean, if you're running three, you're going to get him. So like, and he just gives you a lot. And since we have Exceeds now, he can you can special summon him and go into a rank without worrying about him going out of play. Which I thought was really cool, you know. You, and you, I was worried about that. But even if even if you're doing that, say you're playing like kind of like a like a really type specific deck, you could even special summon him, and then he would go out of play, and he wouldn't mess with the mechanic of like let's say if you were playing a uh, what's that card Solidarity, so he would go out of play unless he got Solemn Warning or something, or uh, you know whatever, or if your opponent had effect veiled him so he he would go in your graveyard and he would disrupt your solidarity or some 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 weird stuff like that but i mean like i think he's just really amazing and i, I can't really say a whole lot more about him that i think i haven't already said uh, i really like birdman a lot and uh yeah i really wish he was purple though i mean like i i, I usually photoshop him purple or other colors you know i wish there was like some kind of weird thing where you can get him in different colors that's about it so Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you see when I want to put out new videos, and thanks for watching guys.